Goldie here, ringing in the new year with another new Hall of Famer and long overdue. Long overdue. I have been asking for quite some time now, where is Hall of Fame Kevin Nash? He's here. We did it. Uh, Kevin Nash Hall of Fame, another S plus tier superstar. Again, incredibly debatable with all these rankings but whatever he is a focused trickster trainer ability technician only reduce opponents submission turns by 10 um submission turns can't be reduced below one that is a six star bronze trainer ability so we have the submission reduction coaches um class specific but they only stop they stop at three this goes up to 10, but it does take a trainer spot. So expect to see um, all of the classes get this treatment. Let me know your comments on this trainer ability. I know a lot of people are like, why are we getting submission defense when they've already nerfed feed perks? I don't know. I didn't make it. But that is the trainer ability. Links, Hall of Fame, any color moves start with four more move points. And we do have both of the gears for this preview. Uh, one gear, regardless of color, cross break gems do 25% more damage. And both gears, all color moves start with three more move points. So you know how we do. All gold everything. You got the diesel gear on. You can't really see it with the gold gear on. We put on the bronze though, you can see. Diesel. Big fan of everything this man does inside and outside of the ring. Uh, so I've got, let's see, one, two, three, I've got four different builds. First one we're going to take a look at is available at three star. It is purple two with double red. So purple two, the big boot, seven MP, deal 132,635 damage and choose seven gems to make into red gems. Red one, the Pendulum Backbreaker, 8 MP, deal 148,743 damage, and choose a 1 by 7 area to make into Trap Gems. If broken by you, make 7 random gems into Crossbreak Gems. If broken by your opponent, deal 459,789 damage, and steal up to 10 MP from each of your opponent's red moves. And red two, the sidewalk slam, also 8 MP. Deal 146,800 damage and make seven trap gems into purple gems. So fairly straightforward self-recycling. Entourage are going to use woods for purple MP. We're bringing in um, acro Jeff Hardy because the majority of the board is going to be covered in cross breaks. So we're going to get 50% more damage on all of those gems. Uh, Santa Hogan for the flat 22. And then Zombie Cena, same mentality. We're just getting all the gem damage. It's not for the generate, it's for the damage. For the belts, we're going full fury. We have a red percent. Uh, no plate. Don't feel it's all that necessary with this build. And we're going to go against Hall of Fame Hogan. So I'm going to um, do this build two ways. We're going to showcase the MP steal because he has um, red MP. So we're going to see if we can bait him into breaking a trap gem. And then go from there. I'm going to turn off the auto. And let's go. Oh god, we got that double speed on? Nah, nah, nah. We for the people. Here we go. Make the video as long as possible. Hashtag ad revenue. I'm doing this because I want to make sure we get him to take this black match. I'm going to put out the traps. And... 
And I'm not going to use this move yet. I want to see if he breaks them. Hell, take the greens. Take all the greens. Shit, that works. Only needed him to break one. Uh, so, since we're only making seven traps into purple, I'm going to go ahead and convert. That was very favorable. Board goes cross break. And a friendly cascade. Board goes boom. And then uh, lather, rinse, repeat. So what you can do, what I like to do, is put your 1x7 on either side of um, two in a row. Because then the wild card, when you convert, should drop down to here. These will be cross breaks. And then you can get a cascade and blow up the board. We can even put this out. Because red is our secondary color. Just get a little more gem damage here. Then turn the traps into purples. The entire board just exploded. They didn't even bother with the animations. They were not even in a DeLorean. That's amazing. So, similar idea. We're going to go here. Man, if they made a, a trap plate similar to the Titan plate, this would be disgusting. show in full this time? No. Just automatically explodes. So these animations aren't necessary. They're just like, you know what? We know what you're doing. We just gonna break everything. Boo! Kicked out. Boo. Probably should have had him break one. I wasn't really paying attention, but I was having way too much fun just exploding the board. Oh, nice. We got red down there. Sweet. So this should do it. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye, Hogan. Goodbye. Thanks for playing. All right, I'm gonna go out of order here. Normally I go three star, four star, five star, six star, but the six star move is, is the six star build rather is similar. So I'm gonna go ahead and show the six star build because it's less stuff I gotta move around. The six star build is triple red. So we're going to show this now instead of going in order. Uh, six star move being the choke slam, eight MP. So all eight MP across the board. Deal 160,806 damage plus 25,337 bonus damage for every cross break gem. So bringing in Butch instead of Woods for red MP and then keeping with Hardy, keeping with Santa, keeping with Zombie Cena and keeping the belt intact. So this is where the gears are going to come into play. We utilize both of them. Uh, with the MP, even with my max tour perks, this would be ready to go. But if you don't, then I know how to navigate this screen. Uh, the plus three will give that to you. Um, my thoughts on these gears, I feel like the silver gear or having one should give you the MP. And then make the second gear more than 25%. I realize I'm saying this before I even show the move, but I feel like 25% is kind of mid would have liked to see like a hundred percent more damage if you really want to make him s tier gold gear is usually really hard to obtain uh but it's still gonna hit fairly hard so let's take a look
F the Hogan. It's also occurred to me that I completely forgot to equip a plate. Um, what I would do is put an aftershock plate on that way because we're going to blow up the board. Uh, but if we run out of red gems, the aftershock plate will give us the MP we need. Now, the risky run with this build is you don't want to cascade. Because you want to be able to keep all the cross breaks on the board so you can hit the damage per and then take a swipe. Yeah. That... Yeah. I knew that was coming as soon as I saw the two purples. But... Hit me, glutton for punishment. Okay, stay put. Thank you! Alright. Uh, 26. So we get some of that gem damage as well. We're doing 50k per cross break. We have 42 of them on the board. That's 2.2 mil. Take your swipe. Red swipe's preferred because of the MP on a match from Tour Perks. But starting to chew away at that health. I, I do think the cross break damage from the gear should be higher. That's strictly my opinion, though. I know a lot of people are nonplussed toward Hall of Fame because um, historically they are expensive and a lot of people think they're overrated, which is true to an extent. Although this month we're being told they're going to be easier to obtain. If you want to make this guy tippy top tier. I think you make that gear 100%. So instead of 2.1 or all the health, you just completely annihilate them. Merely one content creator's opinion. That is why there are seven of us, and that is why you should watch more than one. But that's the six star build. Fairly straightforward if you don't cascade. Um, let's go back and look at 4-star. Four 4-star four build we're going to take a look at brings in both of the green moves and the finisher. So the finisher, Jackknife Powerbomb, 10 MP, deal 301,637 damage and force your opponents to skip their turn for three turns. That's new. Uh, corner foot choke is green one for MP deal 124,832 damage and modify a seven by seven random area into silence gems. That is the entire board. The reason they use that wording is I assume it's lower at lower rarities until it scales to the entire board at six bronze snake eyes green two also for MP deal 121,741 damage and choose two gems to make into two turn juggernaut gems that will increase your purple MP by five on every countdown turn and make 20 silence gems into green gems at the end of the countdown. So for this build, we're going purple move damage focus. We want to get this finisher as high as possible. So zombie page for 30%. I don't have acro doink. He is the purple finisher. Let's do 150%. That would be the play. I don't have him. So zombie page for 30%. Trickster big show for 45%. Hall of Fame Trish for 25%. And Gooker for 25%. I don't remember who the purple finishers do 50% more damage coach is, but I probably don't have them either. It'd be like that. Um, no MP because of the gear. We can get away with that. And we've gone full takedown with a tier 4, 133.3% move damage metal. So let's see how this looks. So we want to put this out first. Because if we do the Juggernaut gems first, and then the Silence gems, we're going to cover all of them up. 
Boom. Snake eyes. Put those there. Mm, let's take that. And then we should be rolling. So 1.11 million damage with the um, the belt and the entourage. Skip three turns. Oh, we critical too. That's 1.34. Let's get it. This will recycle the green moves. Cause a pin. That's fine. So just over 750k. It's done for two more turns. So the three turns done gets uh, gives you the opportunity to recycle all of this. I love that audible on the corner foot choke. It's so great. Put these out. We're going to take this anyways. The Juggernauts are going to give us the MP, but now he's stunned for one turn. There's your MP. Hit him for another mill. Stun him for three more turns. He'll kick out, no problem. And then we just keep cycling. Two turns, same protocol. It's not time efficient by any means, but if they don't have an anti-skip, they are effed. With a capital F. I also have no problem just watching him powerbomb Hogan over and over again. This is completely fine. Now, I'd auto it if my moves weren't out of order. Because <laughs> you know he's going to place the Juggernauts first and then cover them up. Which would be a nightmare. Hmm. I do wish I had Acro Doink to showcase just how high that finisher could get. But alas. Yeah, definitely bored by this move set, but it's effective. I like actually being able to do stuff. But this next go around should be enough. Would be annoying on defense with a Hall of Fame tag link. This doesn't really matter where we put those if he's stunned. It's not like he's going to be breaking them, but this should do it. Yeah, he done. That's how that works. Like I said, kind of boring. But it does what it is designed to do. 
And again, Acrodoink would help that a lot. Uh, one more moveset I want to take a look at. Let's go see what the five-star move is. Five-star move is the short arm clothesline that we're going to run alongside the green moves. Uh, 6 MP, deal 127,053 damage, and increase your green gem damage by 175% for two turns. So we're going to run that with the silence gems and the juggernaut move that makes silence into green. Entourage, again, with the MP, we don't need an MP trainer. So Booker for 35%, Stardust for 25, uh, 35%, I know numbers. Uh, Hall of Fame China for 20%. And Showboat Lacey for 20%. And the piece de resistance of this build is going to be the Uso Cap. Whenever you make 8 or more Silence Gems, increase your green gem damage by 150% for 3 turns. This should be fucking disgusting. Um, but who knows? It's his third strongest color. It might just flop. Uh, went for Full Fury. Looked for some green gem substats. Got a few. So... Let's see how hard he can hit for. Never thought to check the base first. I am like that. Whatever. Uh, so 51,000. Boost it. Uh, 141,000. Nice. Take that swipe to boost it again. Not that we needed to swipe, but... Yeah, 141. Boost it. 231. Problem is, we're going to get pinned. All this work. Maybe? Nah, he will, because he'll get a wild card. Boo this man! Boo! I'm gonna pretend that was a billion damage. Just to make myself feel better. That was a bill. Sir, can you stop refilling your moves, please? Sir. Now I realize he's going to get some stuff going, but that's fine. We should be able to kick out in one, which means when we kick out, it should go kablop. DVD. Aw, snap. Let's get ready to suck it. So there's our boost. Loaded for a turn we can't use. Yeet. 2.1. Dece. Taking us a long ass time to get it going, and he keeps getting red matches, but you know, whatever. We just keep trucking. Many unbearable hours later. Okay, please. He's dead. Please. Finish him.
We're free! We're free! Alright. Let's run that back. Because we can absolutely be more efficient. That was just really painful. One more time. Alright, so. Can't find another six star match. And I don't have any red shangos. So we're just gonna do this again. Uh, definition of insanity in the comments, please. Because, um, yeah. I'm about that life. We got this, though. We got this. Second time is a charm. Not user error. Please, God. I have an idea. Not a good one. But I have an idea. I told you it wasn't a good one. Oh my god, especially when we cascade! Ah! This game hates me! Hates me! Bruh. Whatever, we just get mo bed. What are we at? 141? We're getting this done, damn it. Why are you using blue? I don't know, it's what I had equipped. Don't even think about it. Okay. There's the bap. All right, 3.7. That's in and around where I wanted it to be. You would get a black cascade because you're Hogan. It's not lost on me. I'm going to see if I can't keep this intact. Probably not. Probably going to cascade to high heaven. But. Lord knows a bitch trying. Alright. 33. 51. Nice. Yep. Yeah, called that shit. Anyways. The moral of the story, kids, is that this build can hit ridiculously hard if you have board luck. It's fun to try. I do think the cross breaks is probably the way to go. Cross breaks with the finisher? By chance? I don't think I tried that. We gonna see. This should do it. Boop. Yeah, 4.5. So you can definitely build that if you have the board luck. Maybe swapping out the boost move for a choose so you can give yourself wild cards? Let's peek his moves real quick. Maybe we have something else we can do. Alright, so we're going to try this. We've brought in the big boot. Uh, which is choose 7 to make into red. 
I'm not super concerned about the red gems because the juggernauts are going to fill our purple MP and then they're going to fill the greens. So I'm fine with using a red move. A purple move red gem. But let's see if we can't get something going here. We do this, then five match, three match. I hate that. It's not fun for me. Yeet. Yeet. Now we're going to pin. But one point eight. Okay. Obviously not nearly as strong without the hundred and seventy five percent boost, but does give you a little more control. I doubt he's gonna give us pin bar. Now give us a clean board, though. Appreciate it, homie. I think the Uso cap will have us boosted for another turn still. Didn't think to check. Alright, same strat. I don't like that. It's glitched on me. Not sure. Me or air. That there in case it decides to drop a purple. Balls. Well, whatever. Fifty one is still these. Mid. I think I like the reds better. I think I like the reds better. Alright, I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna close this out. I've made my decision. I know. Boo. Boo. I, I did. I did throw it all away. Let's wrap up the preview. So that concludes our first look at Kevin Nash Hall of Fame with both gears. Again, one gear, crossbreak gems do 25% more damage. I do think they could swap the gear boost and increase the crossbreaks. Again, that is just one content creator's opinion. There's six more content creators you can ask. Uh, second gear, all color moves start with three more move points. He does have four MP and eight MP moves, so that does help with perks or without. Again, Focused Trickster S Plus Tier Hall of Fame. Trainer ability, he is a Submission Reduction Trainer for Technicians. So expect to see this trend of trainer continue. We'll get all six classes. And let me know what you think in the comments of this video. I do have a little fun run it back I'm going to do. So you'll want to stay tuned for that. I'm a big Nash fan. 
I still think Striker Nash is really good now that he has a second gear. But if I land Hall of Fame Nash, I'd probably take him six star just because I'm a fan. That is, again, just my opinion. But let me know what you think in the comments of this video. Stay tuned for the Run It Back. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch. Be sure to like, share with your friends, and subscribe so you're notified when my next gameplay video comes out. Thank you again for watching, and thank you for being a friend. Oh,